أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على شف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Among all the values that we are talking about when it comes to Islam there is one value that as Muslim scholars or intellectuals or Muslim, ordinary Muslims we are neglecting too much and this value is the value of well-being well-being it's important because when it comes to praying God performing our duties and trying to be consistent Muslims in our daily life and for example while we are fasting uh, these days we are trying to be consistent we are trying to achieve something there is something which is essential in everything that we are trying to do is not to come to Islam as if it's a religion with prohibitions and, and everything is haram and, and we have the, 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 the feeling that when you come to Islam we just have to deal with prohibitions and not well-being. While when it comes to faith, what Allah is telling us in the Quran uh, has to do with feeling good. الَّذِينَ تَطْمَئِنُّ قُلُوبُهُمْ بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ أَلَا بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ تَطْمَئِنُّ الْقُلُوبُ Those who are feeling, experiencing this tranquility when they remember God, is it not with the remembrance of God that you find this tranquility? What does it mean? This well-being, meaning that with our faith, with God, when we come back to our heart, we have a sense that we are at peace with our heart and this being at peace with our heart with our consciousness has to do with well-being so faith has to do with well-being and then what we have to do in our life when it is said in the uh, hadith that Allah Jamil Yuhibbul Jamal God is beautiful and he likes beauty what does it mean when you look at nature when you look at his signs in nature what you have to experience is this sense of well-being so beauty has to do with living. our culture when the prophet peace be upon him was in uh, Medina he was experiencing this cultural uh, dimension of life so we should not neglect this we should take it as it is while we are fasting these days we feel well-being because we see that we are consistent but this has not only uh, to do with our behaving or behavior it has to do with our way of dealing with uh, our life so when it is said in the Quran that we should take our share uh, in this life when it was uh, uh, said to Hanbala that he has to understand that there is a time to rest and there is a time to pray it means protect your well-being faith is about this when it comes to remembrance and life is also about this when it comes to your cultural uh, the cultural dimension when you look at your uh, parents when you look at your children just experience this. Give time to, ha to experience well-being with your family, with nature, with the creation. And while you are fasting, experience this. Don't make your religion a time where you feel unease. Make your religion a way where you find peace, when you find this well-being, when you experience it as a believer, as a human being. And this is the right way to be with God, inshallah. Remember to remain positive, take good care of yourself, and don't, never forget to tell the people you love that you love them, insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.